Yeah, I mean, it's very happy to be through with the whole one rand thing. Definitely. Um, it's interesting. I mean, he's in the black, so he made it in a way. Um, he can't just very quickly swap a card, sort of do an EFT. He has to deliberately count and give the, the money over. And I think in that experience, it's shaping his uh, view of money. It's actually getting him to reconsider his thinking processes behind money. And I think that can be quite a powerful experiment and quite a, a powerful behavioral sort of shift um, that you can create in a person. I mean, the most powerful way to change a person's behavior um, in a more permanent way is through experience. I think a lot of people can uh, relate to his concerns around money um, and the frustration, some of the frustration he goes through with all the one rands. Um, and I think some of the things he says as well are really relevant. I think a lot of people may think of those things sort of implicitly and not really talk about that or really think it openly. And I think him saying it and, and people watching him experience spending the one rands would get them to think, yeah, you know, maybe I do need to be a little bit more careful in how I'm spending my money.